Hi everyone, meteorologist Taylor Canoose here with your forecast. I know the last couple of days have not been great for outdoor plans at all, but one good thing about this rain is it is putting a dent into our drought. Here is the latest drought monitor uh, released earlier on Thursday and showing some improvement compared to last week. The severe drought not as widespread in central and northern Iowa. Much of southern Iowa is completely drought free at this point. And well, no, we are seeing some improvements and this map does not include the rain we've seen the past couple of days. That's valid as of Tuesday. So with the next update next week, we'll probably see even more improvement on that drought map. So that's uh, definitely the good news out of this moisture. We're going to continue to get some rainfall through the rest of the night tonight and then finally trending drier as this big area of low pressure will skirt to our east. Drier air is going to be moving in from the west and that will lead to a quieter end to this upcoming week. Here is the look uh, at future cast for the next 24 hours or so. Rainfall continuing for most of the state through this evening, but after midnight, the rainfall becomes more scattered and generally lighter. There might be a few lingering showers when a few folks step outside on Friday morning, but I would say by mid to late morning that rain should be out of here. Cloud cover is going to stick around through the afternoon, and then finally that cloud cover will clear out by late in the day on Friday through Friday night. Additional rain from uh, Thursday evening through Thursday night, maybe up to a half inch in a couple spots. Most of us not even that much, so things are beginning to wind down after a couple of wet days. The wind is going to be a problem tonight. We're talking north winds that could gust in the 35, maybe even 40 mile per hour range overnight through the first part of the day on Friday. So that might be your biggest complaint when you step outside on Friday morning. That wind will gradually die down throughout the day on Friday. Should be much calmer as we head into Friday evening and Friday night. Temperatures slightly improve on Friday due to at least a little bit of sun late in the day, but still only getting to the low 50s for most of us on Friday afternoon. 52 in Des Moines and 51 the forecast high in Ames. Saturday will be the day to get outside with sunshine and better looking temperatures, plus the wind is going to be much calmer. Forecast high of 60 in Des Moines, 59 in Creston, 61 in Carroll. Sunday, Halloween looking a little cooler, but we should still be mostly sunny with highs in the upper 40s to the low 50s. Now that is a sign of things to come next week. We are going to be quite a bit colder next week. A big cold air mass moving out of Canada is going to move into much of the central and eastern United States, and it's going to plant itself there most of next week, which means we are going to be seeing the coolest air of this season so far. Here are your forecast lows next week in Des Moines, and as you can see, many, if not most of those nights will be near or below freezing, and we could even get a hard freeze there late next week. Here's your whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast. All in all, looking cooler than average for the first week of November.